I wouldn't say they have skipped over the process of reconciliation, but, but they have certainly not made uh, progress uh, to the extent where you can say that there has been ethnic reconciliation, there has been solution to the land dispute, and so on. Um, we are trying to uh, support that process as much as possible. But again, um, let me say, just illustrate. Uh, when we have the report from the Truth and Reconciliation Commission, if you have heard about that, published, I had a meeting in this meeting room with the civil society organizations. And they had very different views about it and how to move forward. And, and we were trying <coughs> to engage them in discussing it and, and you know, agree on how to move forward. And some of them looked at me and said, no, you have to tell us what to do. Because if we mess it up, you'll have to come and help us afterwards. And I said to them that, no, because if it's going to be true reconciliation, it cannot be enforced from, from abroad. It has to be you librarians who have to discuss it over and over again and arrive. So what we can do is to encourage them to take the responsibility to, 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 to move forward on that agenda. And there, there's still a lot to do, no doubt about it. But that, I will also have to say, you have to look back at the history of the country. Because many of the issues in relation to reconciliations are not solely linked to the civil war. Many of those issues, I mean, some of them are, but many of those issues are linked to the, from, from the Liberia was, was created as a state. And the whole, uh, especially the ethnic issues with the, with the uh, Congos or the American Liberians and, and the various ethnic groups. So it's, it's a huge, it's a tall agenda. Uh, 